just like any other kid, I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. Me and I plan me to tell you the honest truth, Ben. Now my plan from the hood was either I'm going to be a, a gangster or I'm going to be a policeman. Those were the two options I had. And so, Upume White V, you know? Yes. Ikasi, Ikasi Lagabusi, Tambagwa. Yes. Are you, are you from, like, sort of maybe not far from each other? Not far from each other. My hood is very small. Very, very small. Like, you can take literally one hour to the white view. Yeah. An hour, you can go from A to Z of, of, the, of, of the hood. So, yeah, I think Ukule before me, na Benga Mazi, until I, I went to varsity. That's when I started to know about him. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I, yeah, Skule almost, I think, if I'm not mistaken, he's, but yeah, yeah, he's he's close. He's very close. Very close. Yeah, because he always referenced White V in in in, in, in most yeah. of his talks and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. So take me from I mean from White V, you know, to vets. You know, now we're in first year. Yes. You know, I mean, like the grand yes. is betting on man. Like, how was your <laughs> journey, bro? Where he started? <laughs> do I start from the hood? Or do I start from first year of vets? Let's start from first year, you know, like first now year, yeah. inside and you know everything is rolling out and everything like that, man. And you go for actual science. Yes. Why? Um funny story. Like any other kid Obuyakas in Tuana. Um what happened was in December when I got I need to take you a bit back. December, I get my results, right? Sure. And the only things I've applied for is actually engineering. Oh. I'd applied for mechanical engineering. I'd applied for uh, mining engineering. And I'd applied for industrial engineering. Yeah. So now, for holidays, you know, I just passed. I, I went to his house to chill. I, he looks at my results. Actually, he called me when we got the results. He's like, Don, I'm, you got four distinctions, right? Yeah. And I'm, I'm proud of you. Oh, whatever, whatever. I'm like, yeah, thank you so much. I spend my time. And he says to me, we are going to learn about the actual science. Hmm. There's a friend of mine. I'll introduce you to them. And then there's a cousin in actual science. Mind you, this friend of of his is a is a chartered accountant. Oh. So now I meet this lady. She tells me, yeah, with your marks, because I'd gotten, I think, 90% for maths and 90% for physics. So she's like, yo, your marks are really good. Uh, if you go to actual science, I think you will nail it. It's the most difficult course in the universe. Uh, you know, a lot of people find it hard to do, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah, this sounds like a challenge. That time I'm feeling like a beast, right? Because <laughs> I have these good marks. I'm like, okay, I can handle this. this. This is nothing, you know? I'm a beast. And then one of my best friends, Usaki Lechatebe, which... Uh, I matriculated with him. He got 100% maths, 100% physics. He had already chosen that he's going to do actual science, right? So I call him. I'm like, Pana, when I actual science, was like, I tell you, Pana, tell me, man, you're writing. Bele, and the batinzi, man, from your bulal. The damn man, man, from your bulal, we, na namu zoy bulal na we. Sure. Cool. And that's that's point number one of of not knowing what you want in life. You know, just like any other kid, I didn't know what I wanted to do. In my life, me and I plan me to tell you the honest truth, Ben. Now, my plan from the hood was either I'm going to be a, a gangster or I'm going to be a policeman. Those were the two options I had. And that's why I wanted to take, take you back to my story, Sakokasi, but you, you wanted it here. But I didn't have a plan. I, I actually had no plan because I didn't see myself achieving the marks that I did in matric because of the type of kid I was, right? Okay, cool. Fast forward, this lady says actual science, Akila says actual science. I go to VITS for registration and I actually asked to switch to put this actual science thing. 
right? Sure. They say to me, okay, cool, you can switch, but you need to meet a guy called Stephen. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Jurish. Uh, so that Steven. he can assess your marks. Be Stephen. Yeah. Uh, so that he can assess your marks. And if he likes your marks, then uh, he can take you. Okay, I'm like, okay, cool. And then we go to that uh, Stephen thing and he looks at my marks. I didn't do well in English. So remember, it was English, physics, and uh, mathematics, right? So I didn't do well on, on English. English, I got 69. So I think I had a level five. Yeah. So at that time, remember, he, he used to have that thing of a waiting list to say, if you are in a waiting list, then apply for uh, computational and applied maths and all of that and all of that. And then if I do take you, I'll take you. But if I don't, then you'll come back next year. You have to prove yourself by passing first year very well so that you can come back, right? Cool, I go home. I'm chilled, I'm not stressed. And then I think two days later, I get an email. I'm not sure now of the how it went, but I get an email. The email actually says, uh, you've been accepted for actual science, so you can come do actual science. So that's how I got into actual science first year. Yeah. Because now in the waiting list, I was part of the people in the waiting list that were chosen to actually come through and do it. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, I, I do my first year. I do my first year at Vits. Uh, crazy story, man. Crazy, um, crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, so yeah, that's how I got to do actual science. 